I've been playing Hunter Call of the Wild for a long time, waiting for the Heavy Weapons DLC pack, but they have yet to give it to us. I'm talking things like LMGs, RPGs, bombs. But we just ain't getting nothing of, okay? They keep giving us like weapon skins. We don't want that. We want bombs. But anyway, since they're not gonna do anything, I'm coming into the game, picking out the heaviest weapons there is, and building the loadout just like that. Here we go. First thing, we're coming into storage, and we're getting rid of everything I currently have. Yeah, we'll get rid of all those. And we're actually going to the store to see what the most heavy weapons actually are. And we're starting off with the rifle. What is the most powerful rifle in this game? And we're gonna figure it out by looking at penetration and expansion. Those are the two things that really matter. 30-06 with a 53 expansion, 19 penetration, or 45 and 13 depending on which bullet you choose but the 300 win mag has 42 penetration whoa is that true? Is the 30-06 more powerful than the 300 Win Mag? Oh my goodness, it is. I did not know that. But what about the 338? Coming in with 45. Pretty big round, but honestly, it's right up there with the 30-06. 4570, those pack a punch, but not as much. The 470 Nitro Express, full metal jacket, with 100 penetration and 23 expansion. Can anything beat this? I don't know. That's gonna be hard to beat. Even the Sabos come in pretty good but not enough what about this one polymer tip no for the rifle it's definitely the 470 nitro express so let's come into storage and load it up the zenith okay 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 what about the most heavy handgun we have 357 straight up 50 penetration right out the bat out of a bullet out of a handgun that's a big deal oh that would be good but my handgun score is just not high enough to buy it Oh, but the 454. Oh my gosh. Look at that. 100 penetration out of a handgun. But then the 10 millimeter has 50. Ooh, this one also has 50. Well, regardless, it's definitely this, but you have to have a ton of handgun score, and I just don't have it. We're going with the 45 Colt full metal jacket. These right here, stinking cavalry pistol. Ride that on your horseback. What about the shotgun? I'm gonna go ahead and say it. It's probably the 10 gauge with 45 and 22. The 10 gauge is the biggest shotgun in the game. And then for arrows, it's no secret. The biggest thing in the game is a 700 grain traditional arrow. This thing kills up to a nine 90 penetration, let me tell you this. If you shoot something with this arrow, it's going all the way through it until it hits a tree behind your target. That's all I'm saying. And we're taking out the dragon ninja bow. With all being said, let's get out there and kill some big ol' animals. And by golly, if we ain't starting off with a moose in the New England mountains, that's our target right there. Pretty solid moose, and guess what? He's already coming our way. I'm just gonna get down, hit that moose call, and by golly, I, now we just gotta decide what we're gonna shoot it with, man. If a moose is coming in, a moose is coming in, it's, all, it's about a done deal, man. Hit that moose call, baby. Oh, he's coming in. What am I going to be able to kill this thing? The way it looks, all of these going to be able to kill it. I don't think the pistol is going to be able to kill it. I do want to kill something with the pistol, but I don't know about right now. Maybe the 10-gauge shotgun? Let this thing stink in it. Eat? I'm talking goodness. A 10-gauge slug? It'll go through three of them. I know one thing, though. You're going to get ready because he ain't far out. Let's see if I can get him to come up this road. He's right there, Oh no, he's fleeing. Ain't no stinking way he saw us. Wow, that didn't that didn't last very long. And there'll be, there'll, there's plenty of moose, don't worry about that. What I did notice though, we didn't pack anything with a scope. So everything that we're gonna be doing is gonna be pretty dang close to point blank range. Well, shoo lordy, look where we are. Right now, this is the New England map. If you don't know, I'll just show you. That's where we are on the map. But man, what a spot to glass. You can see all kinds of fields from here. Oh, is that an animal? There's a stinking animal right over there. Now I'll tell you this right now. What? better weapon could you shoot this fox with than a stinking RPG or a mortar? Ain't none. Oh, I seen something big over there. Rolling down the mountain, dude, a bear. He's almost 400 yards away, though. I might be able to cover some ground and get to him. I don't know. There's a pretty big valley in between us. This is a good looking spot, though. I actually really like this. Fox could have been smoked, but not with the current heavy weapons I got. They're heavy, but they ain't as heavy as I want. The bear knows we're here. Apparently, we're a lot closer to the bear than I thought. Just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and get the Zenith ready. Jeez, man, you talking about an expensive bullet. These things are expensive. Oh, he's running. We're going after him. Good thing with this thing, if we hit him, he's gonna die, okay? Shoot him in the toe, he's gonna die. His heart's gonna stop. 
Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Man, I don't know where he is. I should have I should have stopped and called him in. Should have stopped and called him in. What was that? Turkeys? Yeah, we don't need to shoot them. Oh, there goes a bear. That's the same bear? I can't tell. I can't shoot 300 yards with a pistol. I mean, hey, we'll try it. We'll try it. <laughs> I just don't think I can see the target. Oh, I can definitely see the target. Did I just hit the bear? There's no way I just hit the bear. Dude, I was actually so close. I mean, close within like 30 yards. It's pretty good. One downside to this pistol though, it's a little slow to reload. That's why if you're really going after a Hoss pistol, the 10 millimeters where it's at. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is when we need the AA guns. The anti-aircraft. Cause I ain't pulling nothing down with slugs right now. We're gonna have to move locations all together. I would like to kill a moose. The wind is blowing this way. Mm, let's try this. <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting pretty close to a moose. Should be right over this hill. Could wait right here. Might not be a bad idea just to call from here. I really don't know what to shoot it with, though. Hey, Jamal, let me tell you a secret. Get out of my way. I don't even know why I bring you anymore. It's okay, buddy. You're a good doggy. Anyways, that is low-key true, though. I never use Jamal anymore. He's just kind of there. Throughout this video, we're going to be going after some of the biggest animals in the game just to show how effective or ineffective this heavy weapons pack is i don't see that i don't see the moose there's no way this thing just disappeared hold up is that something hey there's deer over there forget the moose we'll shoot one of them i don't care wait what is this a bear oh no man a bear get down get down i seen something move that might have been the bear jamal i'm gonna need for you to lay down if we can get this bear this will be big there's been a lot of build up here not been able to kill anything for a while usually we've done killed like 12 animals by now yo he's right He's right here. He's right here. Sure. <laughs> we just did that with the pistol. I knew. I knew that if I could get on a bear, I want to take it with the pistol. And that thing got right up on us. There's people that kill bears with pistols all the time. I don't know if the game says it's okay, but in real life, people do it. And if you look up here at the blood spot, we hit it good. And I think we hit it good twice. That's a two good hits. That's a good thing about this pistol though. You can get two shots off pretty quick if you're quick enough. Is that him right there? No way. He's stinking down. We didn't let him go nowhere. That's a pretty big bear. It's colorful. Oh my gosh. Look, that first shot, perfect lung shot. Second shot, another perfect lung shot. That bear was going down. All right, sweet. I say we move maps completely. Let's go to the Yukon. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. I figured out why I was having such a hard time getting on those animals earlier. And I'm pretty sure it's because I had the wrong color hat on. If you look back, it was kind of tan. I was in like a forest environment. So I went and I switched to green. But now I switched maps, so it may not work. Anyways, <gasps> perfect animal. Let's see it go. Literally the perfect animal. That's the animal I want to go after. One of the heaviest animals in the game, bison. I want to say buffalo, but, you know, technically they're not buffalo. I think we go after that big one right there. The question, though, bow, shotgun, or straight up the zenith? I want to see what these slugs can do, man. But I can see the path he's coming. I'm going to get right up onto where he's going to walk right into me. He's attentive. Now I'm going down. I'm going to get right up to where he's going to have to walk over top of me. And then right whenever he gets a little too close. Oh, he's turning. He's turning. He's going back. No, he's turning back. Bro's getting confusing out here. Like, for real. I can't figure him out. Oh, snap. Look at that. I just noticed something I didn't see before. There's a lot more bison out here than I thought. There is a lot of bison. I don't know what the strat is, really. I don't know if I should wait on them or go for it or... Oh, and there's a big moose. Oh, gosh. He's right here. Just get the, just get the shotgun. We're going to shoot him. As soon and if he stops, we're going to shoot him. He gets right over here in the open, it'll be perfect. Right now he's behind, oh my goodness, is this him? I think that's him, shoot, I'm gonna shoot him. One shot, you know, to the good stuff. Should be going down, shoot him. Brain shot. <laughs> Do you see that? Dude, these things don't stand a chance to slugs. Nothing does. 10 gauge slugs one of the meanest things in the game, dude. Look at that. Perfect shot. Ooh, not a perfect shot. That one was, though. He went down. Let's literally chase these boss and see if we can shoot another one with the 10 gauge. These slugs are mean. Dude, if that moose hasn't moved, we might try to make a stalk on it with the bow. 
Or even call it in. Why not that? Oh, there goes the moose. Ah, that's a moose, not the moose. It's a moose. Hey, I think there's a bison right over the hill. I think if we run up on him, might be able to get him with a shot. This is that long shot I was talking about. This is the long shot. Oh, wow, that was close. Oh, I missed too. You can see the glowing dots. Now that was something, man. I missed them. I missed them fair and square. Picking up my arrows. At least I didn't lose the arrows. Them things are like a hundred bucks each. I think we're gonna try to go find some different moose. That one right there wasn't very big at all. And to find this moose, we are changing maps. We're going to Russia. Different kind of moose. Not really, it's the same moose, but they're big and it's snowy. <laughs> Welcome to Russia. We got a lot of snow. It's cold. My blue shirt actually kind of blends in quite nice. But yeah, there's some there's some big moose here. And if we can find some down here in this crater, we're just going to put the stock on them, get close to them, and try to shoot them. The two weapons we have left is the bow and the zenith 470, which is an absolute annihilator. Which one will we use? We don't know. Shoot. Man, oh my gosh, do you see that thing just go flying out of the air? I don't even know if there's moose on this map. I ain't seeing nothing. Usually you can see a few moose in here. Maybe a dry run. May have to go somewhere else. All right, we've changed locations. Now we're way up here in the north corner of the map. And this is moose territory. You can look around this kind of forest. This is, this is exactly like what moose like to feed in. They'll come up to a little bush like this and just nip off all the little edges. They'll reach all the way up to the top of the tree and eat all the nips off the edges too. This is the perfect place to find a moose. Let's rip a call, see if we can get one to come to us. I think we got some. Dude, I'ma go prone on top of this rock. I got my perks aligned to where I can stink and shoot from prone with my bow. That's what we're about to do. Oh yeah, we're in good shape right here. We're gonna sit on this rock until they come to us. Good thing about moose, they're pretty responsive. They're willing to come in. Unlike wild boar, I don't think I've ever called in a wild boar, ever. While we're waiting for these moose to get a little bit closer, if you wanna buy a hat or a shirt, kennelgravewonder.com slash shop, first link in the description, and use promo code GAMING10, get you 10% off your entire order, whatever you want. Well, look who it is, a nice little reindeer. Oh, snap, we got a bunch of them. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. We're shooting the biggest one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's stinking dropped. I don't know what happened to the moose, but they just did not respond. This thing actually doesn't have that much recoil now that I look at it. Dude, that is crazy. Now, of course, we used the heaviest weapon in the game for one of the medium animals in the game, but hey. It worked. He's sinking dropped. Oh my gosh. Like I said, guys, whenever you shoot something with this, it goes all the way through and hits the tree behind it. Improper ammo. Otherwise, hey, that'd been a silver, but still made 800 bucks. That's exactly how much one of those bullets costs, so. Oh, snap. We got pigs down here, man. Got some wild stinking boars. Oh my goodness. If I can make this work, we're going to be in good shape. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. It's such hard shots to make. Wild pigs are so hard to kill. I'm telling you, dude. Oh, did I get him? I don't know. I got to reload, though. I'm out. That's one downside about my little heavy weapons loadout. I didn't pack anything with a scope, man. No way. We still got a mating call back here. I mean, I'd say the chance is honestly pretty low that I hit any of those. But we still got one coming in behind us or something. We'll go look for blood right here and say, actually, Jamal, how about you do something? I don't know. Jamal's going over there. We may have hit one. We may have killed one. I don't know. Let's go look. Let's go look for ourselves. He acts like he's found something. He's searching for blood hard, man. Oh, I stinking did. We well, stinking hit one. Now, I don't know if this is a good hit or not, but I did hit one. Hey, oh no, I think he's going down. I really do. I will say, I did not expect to actually hit one, let alone kill one. Right there's my stinking pig. Let's see where I hit him. In the vitals? In the vitals? Heck no, in the butt. He's 333 pounds. That's insanity, is it not? Let's head on back down to the coast. And let's see if we can finish off this challenge by killing something with the bow. Load it up with a 700 grain arrow. This thing's ready to kill. Yo, we got some paranormal activity out here, bro. Y'all see? Seeing what I'm seeing? AZ, I be radiation or something out here. Anyways, long story short, we have actually switched locations to the Reventuli coast because I don't know, maybe they just took moose out of the game because I hadn't seen one nowhere and this is the first one I've seen in like two hours. Now, is it a big moose? 
No. But is it a moose we're gonna shoot? Absolutely. I would shoot a deer, but like the deer are smart and they run away. I mean, that's a decent buck out there. There's a bunch of good bucks out. Oh my goodness, there is a bunch of good bucks out here. I tell you what we need to do. We need to come back here and go rifle hunting. Right now we're about 200 yards in. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting down. I think I'm gonna try to call this thing in and pelt her with the bow. God, I'm gonna hide in this bush right here and call. Now we're gonna sit right here and we're just gonna wait. Oh yeah, we're invisible. Now we wait. Wait a minute. Oh, we got another one coming in. Oh my gosh, we got one behind us. Dude, we are covered up by moose right now. All because I hit the call one time. They just came out of nowhere. Like they just spawned or something. Here's the good thing though about this bow. Not only is it very strong and very capable of killing them, but it's also quiet. So I might be able to kill two or three from one spot. I just gotta wait until the time is right and don't release an arrow until I'm absolutely sure that I can kill what I'm shooting at. We're gonna shoot whichever one's get, ooh, broadside would be perfect. Wait, but there's one right here behind me. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna take it. Then we're gonna shoot this one. Oh man, that one ran, that one ran, that one ran, that one ran. There's no way I made two bad shots right here. No way I made two bad shots and neither one of them died. There's no way. Is that the one I'm shooting at? Oh my gosh, it's not even going down. It's just running around with my arrow in it. What about the other one? Did it die? Okay, the other one died. All right, I feel better now. But look at that one. Look at those. Look at that one. Look at that one. We was calling in so many moose right there. And I'm actually kind of upset I didn't kill that one. How do I hit it right here and it just runs around like nothing ever happened? At least I got a vitals, right? Yeah, I got a vital. That's pretty solid. That's where I was aiming. I'm not mad about that. Took it a while to die, though. The heavy weapons I got here, they're okay, but they're no RPG. We'll say that. Click right here if you want to see me use the most expensive gun in the game, or over here for whenever I tested cheap versus expensive weapons.